Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about rose pores. In this particular video, we will discuss what will be the clinical features of a patient presenting with rose pores and what we will find on cutaneous examination. So this particular case is about a 13-year-old male child presented to uh, the dermatology OPD with symptoms of high-grade fever for about two to three weeks. He also complained of red-colored asymptomatic rash over the abdominal area for the past two to three days. The patient was simultaneously examined by a pediatrician as well. The patient was admitted and uh, certain tests was, uh, were run. The report was suggestive of typhoid fever. On clinical examination, we found blanchable macular papular rash on the anterior trunk. So this is how the cutaneous examination of the patient looked like. The patient presented with uh, macular papular rash, which was blanchable in nature, particularly on the abdominal region, extending from the area below the nipple up to the, the base region. And this uh, rash was asymptomatic in nature. Now, if we collaborate the history and the presentation, the history is of high grade fever, which was about two to three weeks, uh, you know, long. The uh, the patient was running fever for a, around two to three weeks. On test, the, the pediatrician proved that it was a typhoid fever, and this patient had these kind of rash for around two to three days, which were again blanchable and maculopapular in nature. So. Uh, obviously, the diagnosis goes in the favor of rose spots. Now, let us learn what these rose spots actually are. This is another picture of the same uh, patient in which you can find uh, this blanchable maxillary papular rash present over the abdominal area. So, rose spots are seen in about 30% of the patients infected with Salmonella typhi and particularly seen in those patients who are untreated. So, untreated typhoid fever patients can present with rose spots in about 30% of the cases. It is usually seen in about second to fourth week of the illness uh, and the appearance of the lesion I have already described it to you. They are asymptomatic in nature and they last for around three to five days. So we need not treat the rash as such because it will automatically disappear. We need to definitely treat the fever though. What are these uh, rose spots? Rose spots are basically the emboli, the bacterial emboli to the skin in which the clumps of the bacteria, they travel through the bloodstream and this is how it appears.